all right hi and welcome back to my channel i know it's been a minute life happens spent all the military in this doctorate degree it's been a struggle however i'm coming to you all today with a quick haul this is going to be a grocery haul i went to little a little however you pronounce it and aldi so let's start with let's start with aldi first so, I don't buy everything from these stores, but some things out of the stores I feel like you can buy the generic brand of because the name really don't matter. So, from all these, I just got some eggs. And let me tell you the prices as I'm going. So, the eggs were $1.35, so that's pretty good. It's actually cheaper than Publix. I needed some cilantro because I'm trying out this new recipe tonight. If you're not following me on my cooking page, you should be. Um, cooking with me staying on IG. So the cilantro was 69 cents. I got some strawberries. I actually like the um, produce from there. It's pretty good. So the strawberries were um, $1.95. I got some breadcrumbs, some panko. I have another recipe that I'm working on, playing with. Those were 85 and the last thing I got was this mixed fruit. I really like the mixed fruit there. However, it has gone up. I noticed in the winter time I used to pay like a dollar seventy five, um, and it was three ninety nine. But I mean, it's cool. I used it for my smoothies in the morning time. So I got the mixed fruit with strawberries, peaches, pineapples, and mangoes. And what I do like about this is that it's unsweetened, so just natural sugars. So all of that with tax. Oh, I had to buy the bag too because my trunk was full. So. The bag was $0.10. Cent. So in all, it came to nine eleven. I think that was a pretty good bargain for what I got. If I had went to Publix or maybe um, Ingalls, I'm quite sure it would have probably been double. Now on to Lido or Little. Let me get my receipt for that. Here we go. So here's my bag. I'm going to share with you all everything I bought. So, these green peppers were on sale for, oh, wait, $1.29. $1.29, $1 and that is amazing. Because most times when I buy green pepper, one pepper was probably $1.99. So, when I can find them on sale, I hurry up and pick them up. So, it's by the brand... It's their brand, the best of nature. So three for one ninety nine. I got some limes because I bake or I cook with limes and lemons. They were they were one ninety nine. That was also much cheaper than me um, getting what they had getting the lemons by the pound because I think lemons were like ninety nine cent a pound and. The lines were 59 cents, so that was a good bargain. Celery is a staple in my house, in my kitchen. I love celery. It gives food so much flavor. So the celery was $1.29. Oh, I picked up a cucumber for my salad that I will be making for lunch tomorrow. So it was 62 cents. I got a bag of spring mix, um, salad mix, so it's just baby lettuce, baby greens, and riccio. Hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. And if you're curious, I do have a video up on my YouTube on my Italian salad and how I make it. Back to the program. So, the spring mix was $1.89. Pretty good, pretty good. Oh. I got these tomatoes on the vine, which was... $1.56. So I got three tomatoes. I love tomatoes. I got a pack of chicken breasts fillets. Sanderson form. They was $3.34. I also picked up some black olives. I love black olives and my salads and on my tacos and things. I really like to eat them plain. So these black olives was 99 cents for a can. Although they are a tad bit cheaper, a couple cents cheaper at Target. The 
What is their brand? Market Pantry. So, growing up, I was like, oh, if it's not wishbone, salad dressing, I'm not going to eat it. If it's not craft. However, I have found that the Aldi's and the little or little brand of the Italian is just as good as the name brand. It, there's practically no difference in it. So, I got... One bottle of that, and I think it was 99 cents. Am I telling you all right? No, I'm not. Yes, it was 89 cents. I picked up the teriyaki um, marinade, and I actually was not looking for this. I normally buy it in the KC Masterpiece at Kroger, but this was a good deal. And it was only a dollar and six cents. I was paying double that. Today was a good day because it was quiet in the store. So when it's quiet, I actually have time to browse the aisles and I can look for things that I probably would have missed if it was busy. I would have just got what I need to get and get out. These real bacon bits. Normally, I buy these at Aldi's. However, for whatever reason, they're always out. These are really good and they were $1.29. And I love putting this on my salad. You put in baked potato. I mean, I don't know if you put it in your, I don't know, your grits, whatever. It's a good bargain. And it's real. The last thing I got was just two boxes of the chicken broth. I always get the reduced sodium because chicken broth by itself has a lot of salt. So I try to cut down the salt as much as possible. Plus, when I'm using this, I'm normally going to add my own seasons to whatever recipe I'm doing. So that's it. That's everything I got from... All these in Lido, Little, however you pronounce that place. So I spent twenty, well, twenty one seventy four with tax. Not bad. I think between the two stores, I may have spent thirty bucks, and I will have lunch for the rest of the week. I will have dinner for the rest of the week. So I think I'm doing pretty good. Normally, when I go in these stores, the things I look for the most is the produce. Um. I do buy, I have tried their cheese. Their cheese are pretty good. I get my eggs from there. I get my milk from there. I'm not a big milk fan, but I bake a lot. So I bake with a lot of milk. And they're pretty much all is the best place to get like a lot of baking stuff like spices, seasonings, vinegar, all that type of thing. So if you've never shopped there, I encourage you to go and check it out. And that's it. So I am about to put up my groceries. I'm about to get my meal started. I have a new recipe coming out on my cooking with meat stain page. I don't know if I'm going to post it today. It'll probably be up there tomorrow. I'm going to try to get this video up by Friday. So be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Go follow me on social media, Meat Stain Living, Cooking with Meat Stain. Also, I have a Facebook page, Meat Stain Living. I have another thing that I'm about to start, but of course, I will let you all know that. Hey, stay safe. Holla.